Yo, what's going on guys? This is a uh, another gameplay video or a dual video, whatever you want to call it. Um, this time I'm going to be playing my Kentaurus Mon yellow build. Uh, I was working on this because of the leaks out of Union Impact. So we got new cards revealed. We got Kentaurus Mon, one of the Royal Knights. Goes really well with all the yellow support. And then uh, you can see in my hand I've got Mastamon, which is a new mega that we got who can uh, digivolve from either a purple or a yellow so it's uh it's good in both decks um very interesting card and there's the kentaurus mon right there so i opened up a uh, pretty okay uh, my opponent's uh playing a purple build ironically um he's not actually running mastamon um but yeah nonetheless so we're gonna play a salamon draw a card um and my hand is like looking kind of weird right now i've got two petermons it's not ideal because i don't have a tinkermon in hand also to use his effect I'm hoping I can get something better by playing TK. Um, and then you'll see, uh, I checked my uh, security cards and then added that Shakuamon right there. Uh, that's also another new card out of Union Impact. Um, Shakuamon's interesting because he's one of the few cards that's treated as a dual color. So he's a yellow card, obviously, but he also has an effect where during your turn he's treated as a blue. So that's kind of nice. Uh, it can work uh, both ways. So uh, he's just a good ultimate to have, um, and then hopefully, well, the goal of this deck is to kind of just get Kentorismon on the field and um, stall your opponent, um, because his effect is very unique, actually. Um, what he can do is, when he's Digivolved, um, you can, up to five of your opponent's Digimon, you can prevent them from attacking until the end of the next turn. So, like, if I dropped him this turn, for example... Um, I could stop both of his Digimon right now and they wouldn't be able to attack during his next turn. So it's very unique in the fact that it can stop your opponent from like killing you. Even if you um, have like, like if they had five Digimon for example and you had like a full security stack, um, you can like prevent them all from attacking so it's really good. And then um, at least in this build I wanted to pair that with uh, things like Seraphimon um, who's both an offensive and a defensive card, right? Seraphimon has the effect that when he's Digivolved um, he can not only get recovery plus one, so you get to take a card from your deck and put it on top of your security stack, um, but he also has security attack plus one, so that that way he can attack twice, right? Um, so yeah, he's just he's just a very good utility card. Um, so I, I will say uh, I apologize about the weird angles in this game. Um, you might have seen in like my in the first couple of moments. Uh, you could see my hand at the bottom of the screen, but now you kind of can't. Uh, I'm still getting used to Tabletop Simulator, which is like the application um, that we're playing this uh, match on. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys will still be able to tell what's going on. Um, so yeah, we're going to see our opponent has a Gururumon and a Vilemon on the field. Um, he's going to drop to a Chimeramon um, for three. Uh, so he's just trying to get ahead, not giving me too much memory to work with. Um, and then right now, I am in a pretty good position, or at least I was. Uh, Chimeramon actually has the effect where you can destroy another Digimon on your field, so like on my opponent's field, and then target something on uh, the opposite field and then destroy it, as long as it's like a level 5 or lower, right? Which Shikuamon was, unfortunately. Um, so I'm kind of back to square one. Uh, I only have one memory to work with, and I have a lot of Megas in my hand, uh, which is not actually very good because I don't have anything to Digivolve uh, into, right? Um, I don't have any rookies, so, like, my Raising Phase is kind of just wasted this turn. I basically just have to, like, either drop uh, Petermon, Unimon, or um, or my Sirenmon. Yeah, there we go. We drop Petermon for five. Um, it just, like, there wasn't much we could do there. It was between that or the Siren Mon, which might have been better, um, because then we could have just gone straight into a Mega next turn. Um, but this way, we do get to draw another card after uh, I'll drop the Siren Mon. So yeah, we're gonna see a Guru Mon, another Guru Mon on top of our opponent's Digimon there. So yeah, things aren't looking good too uh, too good for us. Uh, excuse me, um, but we're just gonna see what our opponent does. He's going to attack with the Gurumon, which is uh, questionable. Honestly, it worked out for him there. Um, but typically in this game, you don't really want to attack with a weak Digimon. And, I mean, he is a champion, but he only has 4,000. Um, and he, I mean, he saw I'm playing 
uh, I guess he hasn't seen any of my Megas yet, but he knows, like, right, most decks play Megas. So he knows, like, I should have at least a couple Digimon with 10,000 or higher in my security stack. So not sure what he was thinking. It worked out for him, though. Um, he's going to play a purple Matt Tamer card. Um, this one is really good in purple. It allows him to recover uh, any Digimon or any, like, option card as long as it's purple from his trash. Um, so it's a like, free plus one, and then, of course, it has that... Uh, effect that a lot of tamers do have where you can get uh, memory plus one as long as your memory is lower than three that turn okay so it's gonna go over to me again um yeah so sorry i'm gonna have to pan between like my hand and um the field uh, hopefully it's still clear what's going on so i'm gonna drop salomon and then you do get to draw every time you digivolve in this game so gonna draw drop sirenmon i love sirenmon it's such a good um cost or such a good card for only a two cost um you can digivolve it and even you'll see later on in this game i'm pretty sure i play like three sirenmons from my hand uh because the five cost for an ultimate is just like not even that bad when i didn't have any other options right you can just play a five cost from your hand and then drop like a seraphimon or a kentorismon on top of it uh, so I'm going to draw for the Seraphimon summon and then get recovery plus one. So like you're seeing, um, yeah, sorry about that. I, you shouldn't have seen that uh, Angemon security card. But you're seeing that like my opponent's putting Digimon in the field and he's attacking me. But like this deck is so good in the defensive game that he's just like not able to get through to my security. I, I'm back at like square one where I have five security and a Mega on the field. Um, so next turn, if he doesn't do anything about my Seraphimon... Um, I'm going to be able to take down two of his security cards. Um, so, so yeah, just waiting on my opponent. He's got three memory. Uh, we might see a Mega here. Purple usually plays, what is there, Piedmon, Beelzemon, which neither of those you'd probably, you'd probably want to save those for different situations. You don't really want to Digivolve Piedmon. You want to drop him straight from your hand. Um, and aside from that, he could be playing Venom Iotismon. Um... And yeah, so we'll see. We'll see where he goes. He's gonna unrest that Guru Rumon, and then, and yeah. So our opponent's still got five security. I haven't really made an attack. All right, there. So we're gonna actually see a Piedmon, uh, which is unusual. Like I said, you typically want to get the most out of Piedmon's effect by just dropping him straight on the field. Um, but because our opponent had Millennium on, which I completely forgot about this card. This card is an absolute monster. Um, he's a level 7 who you can drop uh, for a 6 cost, which is very high, but he gets rid of any Digimon on the field by putting it back on the bottom of the deck, and then the security, or not the security, sorry, the um, Digivolution materials are sent to the grave. So he was able to get rid of my Seraphimon before I was even had a chance to attack. Um, and then, yeah, Millenniumon also has a secondary effect where if it's destroyed, uh, for, for some reason, if you're able to get around it, um, you can actually recover it, like, bring it back straight to the field from the graveyard um, by just, like, getting rid of its materials. Uh, so that, that's that's kind of crazy. So at this point, I'm kind of just forced to, like, ignore it. Uh, I just have to, like, go for his security while while preventing him from attacking, right? My my goal right now is to, like, hopefully get Kentorismon on the field so that I can, you know, stall for a couple turns um, and then just plan my move for there. So I do actually have six security, which is, sorry, I keep getting these mixed up. Six memory, um, which is good for me. And yeah, okay, so I'm going to drop a Shakuamon, uh, draw one. And at this point, it's looking good. Uh, I have the memory to drop a Mega, and I believe that's what I'm going to do, drop a Kentorismon. Um, and then he also has a great secondary effect. Uh, where uh, if Kentorismon dies, if so, for some reason he dies, um, which, I mean, you'll you'll see that it actually does happen in this duel, um, but you're able to uh, take 11,000 DP off of any of his Digimon. Um, and in this game, if, if you don't remember that, if a Digimon's DP goes to zero, it's actually destroyed. Um, so unfortunately, Millenniumon's like too strong for that effect. Uh, so it kind of sucks. Like it only lasts until the end of the turn. Um, but yeah, so it's going to go back to my opponent. He's got three memory to work with. Um, and there is no reason 
Um, well, actually, he's going to try to attack. Uh, I was going to say there's no reason for him not to attack. But he's going to try to attack. And this is just why Kentaurus Mon and this new mechanic is just like really good. Because I can drop it um, and then just save myself for a turn because he won't be able to attack. And Millennium Mon is, is so strong. He'll basically get a free like security card, right? He's not going to die. Uh, he's 13,000. Um, and then also you're not allowed to attack your opponent's Digimon that are like unrested, right? That are in that vertical position so he can't actually like attack Kentorismon himself unless I attack um, so yeah it's just really good uh, like the goal of this deck is to, to just prevent your opponent from attacking while building up your own resources um, and then just finish out the game with a Seraphimon or a Mastamon um, to get rid of their security So, um, let's see, what else could we do? Um, so our opponent, he's probably just deliberating on what he can do right now. Yeah, he, he's setting up a blocker is not a bad idea. I don't think he had any rookies, uh, because you'll see, like, in his raising area, there's just a random Pagumon that hasn't, like, been Digivolved. Um, but yeah, so he's just gonna drop a Vile Monster from his hand, give me that two memory. Um, so then I'm gonna flip over my Cupimon. And then I do have a couple rookies, so thankfully I'm going to be able to draw some. Uh, my hand is looking pretty good. You can see the hand sizes in, in this deck start to get like a little bit crazy. Because um, I have the Kentaurus Mon. I'll probably end up... I might end up attacking. Um, the, the thing is though, if I do end up attacking, like he'll just get rid of my Kentaurus Mon later on. But it has fulfilled its purpose, right? It has just... It saved me a turn. Is able to stop his Millennium Mon. Um, and then I was debating here because, unfortunately, I I had the one champion, right? I had the Petermon, um, but I wasn't guaranteed to, like, draw into anything good. So I just decided to play him straight for my hand so then I could get the free Tinkermon for my hand also. Which, um, I, side note, you can also use Petermon's effect to bring a Tinkermon out from the grave or from your trash. I might have had one. Um, I didn't actually check, so that, that might be something to be aware of. Um, but yeah, so I'm looking good. I got four Digimon next turn, and yeah, I didn't decide. I decided to not attack with the Kentaurus Mon, um, just to save him. And I want to go for like one final push uh, at the end. Unfortunately, he does drop another Chimera Mon, um, and he can take out any level five or lower. So he could take out um, like either of the Digimons, not Kentaurus Mon. Um, I believe he uses no. He might not use that effect because um, you do have to get rid of one of your own Digimon. Unless he could actually destroy his own Millennium on, um, and like kill one of my Digimon and then bring it back with its effect. But he's just gonna go ahead and attack. So we'll see. Yeah, top card is a Patamon. Um, and then Chimeramon is going to attack as well. Okay. So Chimeramon is going to attack. Um, you're gonna see me mess around with the cards a little bit. And thankfully he runs into a Kentaurismon. So since it was stronger than his Digimon, uh, Chimeramon is destroyed. So I'm just going to rearrange my security stack a little bit. Um, so yeah, uh, still not looking too good for me, but this game is definitely not over yet. right? I may only have three security, but next turn I'm going to have four attacks. So hopefully I can like even out the, even out the score a little bit um, by just going for some attacks. Um, the thing is, though, my hand is weird because I have a lot of Megas. I think I have a Siren Mon here. Um, I'm probably going to pan to it in a second. Yeah. Okay, so I have a Siren Mon, luckily. That's only a two cost. So if he gives me enough memory, I'll be able to drop um, another Mega this turn, hopefully. Um, so let's see what he's going to do. Okay, so he's actually going to activate Heat Viper. Um, that is an option card which destroys one of his Digimon, and then it can destroy up to two of your level four or lowers for your opponents. And unfortunately, I had two level four lowers. So that gets rid of like two of my Digimon, minus two attacks for me. However, for him, for a second, I was like, okay, he's going to give up his strongest Digimon just to do that. But uh, Millennium is effect doesn't actually say like what uh, it needs to be destroyed by right so it only says like if it's destroyed um, then you can like bring it back it doesn't actually have to be killed by your opponent so you can actually destroy it yourself and then just get it back for free um, so he was able to basically just wipe my two Digimon for free 
Um, he did give me five memory though, so I'm not sure if that was like the best move. Um, but I mean, he he probably saw that like I was gearing up to like go for a big push um, with at least four attacks. I might have been able to drop a Seraphimon if he had given me enough memory. So that that might have just ended the game right there. Um, but so I have five memory. Um, I might decide to attack with Kentorismon, but another thing I could do here is just drop the Sirenmon straight up, because unfortunately I don't have any champions. So even though I have Kudamon on the field, I don't really have anything to go into from there. So I could just drop the Sirenmon straight up, and then either drop another Kentorismon or like a Seraphimon get a recovery plus one, and then that way I'll have four security. Okay, so yep, I'm going to go for the Sirenmon straight up. Um, not going to draw because just played it straight from my hand. Um, and then luckily he's only going to get two attacks max next turn. Um, cause even if he plays anything else, he can't, he won't be able to attack with them. Um, and then the Pagumon is just taking up his, um, his raising area. So yeah, I'm going to drop another Kentorismon and then prevent his two guys from attacking. So now I've bought myself another turn. Like he, he couldn't kill me even if he wanted to. And I'm just setting up. I got three attacks for the next turn. Um, and yeah, so our opponent's going to draw, he's got three memory, he's going to throw down a Tapirmon. Um, Tapirmon does have, actually have a good, I believe it's in his inheritable effect, um, where like if he's destroyed or whatever Digimon, um, on top of him is destroyed, you get to draw two and then, um, take out or discard one from your hand. Um, and sorry about that, I was messing around with the camera angles. A little bit here just trying to see if if like the top down view is maybe a little bit better um but i, th I think like the angled view is like slightly slightly a little bit better anyways so our opponent is going to drop that tapir mon just deliberating on what he could do um but yeah contours mon is such a cool card man i'm really glad we got another one of the royal knights i love the royal knights they're so cool and they're just such powerful uh digimon and we're kind of seeing that in the TCG where, like, a lot of the Royal Knights are just, like, very good cards. We've seen now Kentorismon. We've seen All Force Vidramon, who's an absolute monster. Omnimon. I don't even need to mention how crazy he is. Um, but, yeah. So, hopefully, we'll be able to see, like, the full set of Royal Knights at some point. So, he's going to activate Grizzly Wings here. Um, this is an option card which lets him um, basically bring back one of his level 3s from the graveyard. So he's going to bring back Impmon. Um, now, I I didn't pay attention to what he was going to do next. Um, at least I believe. Well, you'll see. But Impmon is just really good in purple, especially um, because of Beelzemon. And Beelzemon is an absolute monster. Uh, you can essentially just... Uh, he has an effect where, like, if you have Impmon on the field and you have 10 or more in your trash, you can drop him straight on Impmon um, for a 4 cost. So that's kind of crazy. All right, so we're going to draw and then get a Nyaramon off the raising. Um, and then it's looking all right for me. I got a rookie, so I'll be able to draw. I hope I draw into a champion. No, not going to happen. So that might be something to adjust in this deck. Uh, I am still, like, messing around with the ratios and stuff. Um, but I believe the only champions I was playing was, like, Angemon and Unimon um, and Petermon. Like, that's literally it. And you have it, like, you saw Petermon uh, briefly. Um, but, you know, Caesarmon is one you could consider because he has a jamming. So that might help you make some offensive pushes. Um, and then, okay, so yeah, we're going to attack with Kentorismon here. He's actually going to block it, uh, which is an okay move. I don't know if I would have done that because it's not like Kentorismon has security attack plus one or anything. So blocking it is, like, okay, but he got rid of... Um, like a Digimon, uh, so like he, he did some work for me, um, I didn't have to like deal with it, right, so he's only going to have three attacks next turn, um, so yeah, which which might be an issue, uh, especially because I only have, actually no, I do have four security, because if you remember I dropped a Seraphimon earlier, um, so I should have four, uh, it just looks like I have three because one of them might be stacked on top of another, but anyways, so, so yeah, we're going to, it's our opponent's turn, he's got three memory, um, he could take out one of the Kentorismons with his Millenniumon, which is unfortunate, 
but we did get rid of a couple of security cards. Well, one security card and a blocker. Um, so the next turn, I'll have a minimum of like three attacks as long as he doesn't do anything else. Um, actually, no, I'm, I'm at a four because of the Tinkermon. Um, but yeah, so he's going to attack with Millennium He's going to kill Kentaurus Mon. Um, and then Kentaurus Mon's effect is going to activate. I was debating um, just going for the Millennium Mon because I was scared he might like use a card effect to get rid of the other Kentaurus Mon so like maybe I could stack them on the same Millennium Mon. Um, but I, I thought that might be a little bit too like unlikely so I just decided to get rid of his uh, Tapir Mon. So he won't have a chance to Digivolve up and get those Inheritable effects. Okay, so I'm left with three Digimon. Um, our opponent still has three memory because all he did was attack. Um, and then he's going to draw two, discard one for Tapirmon's effect since it was destroyed. And I was thinking he might attack with Impmon just to like get some more cards in the trash. So, you know, he could use Matt, uh, another Matt maybe, or Grizzly Wings or something. Um, but I believe he actually goes for Beelzemon here. But we'll see. Uh, yep, there it is. Okay, so yeah, it's kind of crazy how you can drop a level 6 straight onto a level 3. Um, but, like, yeah, if you have 10 or more in your trash, you can just Digivolve them straight up. And then what you can do is kill a level 4 lower on your opponent's side. So you'll see his deck. Uh, purple has a lot of removal. Like, they got access to Millenniumon, Chimeramon, Beelzemon. All these Digimon and, and option cards, honestly, right? He, he used Heat Viper too. Um, all these cards that just get rid of your opponent's field while simultaneously, like, you're trying to set up your own with cards like Piedmon, uh, bring back some level threes with the Grizzly Wings. Um, so it's a very offensive deck. It's very powerful. Um, so I'm, I'm having, I probably would have had a harder time um, if this deck wasn't so good at recovering and it didn't have such a good grind game. Um, so I'm going to attack with Kentorismon, get rid of one of his security. I uh, ran into a Heat Viper there. He's not going to use it. Uh, I, I don't think it would be a good idea to use it anyways. Um, and then I believe what I could do, right, I got a, a three Seraphimons in hand and a Mastamon. So Mastamon might be good, um, but my problem is, like, it's a double-edged sword, right? For one, it's a four cost. Um, and then another thing is that, like, yeah, you do get to just get rid of a security card on your opponent's side for free and you know potentially another one if you get to attack but you're also getting rid of your own and the reason why it's all right in this deck is because you do have so many cards that give you recovery like you you'll see i have a magnet angemon and seraphimon right that's that's recovery plus two right there um but i just don't have the memory right now to be allocating to like a recovery play and then a mastamon so i just straight up go for a seraphimon one he he costs less so he's only at three cost to digivolve um, and then I just immediately get a recovery plus one. So, like, I'm not even going to have to worry about my memory at this point. Um, because, like, even though he has two really powerful Digimon in the field, um, he's kind of, like, he, he's kind of forced to attack my security. Because if he gets rid of the Kentaurus Mon, um, it's going to take out his BLs Mon. Um, so that, that might be, like, something he's hesitating on. Um, but, yeah, so just get a recovery plus one with the Seraphi Mon. And the next turn, I'm set up to... If he doesn't put out a blocker, I could honestly win. Um, because Seraphimon has security attack plus two. Or sorry, plus one. So he'll get two attacks. Um, and then Kentorismon can go for another. That'll be three security cards. And then Tinkermon can go for game. Um, hopefully, that's that's how I was planning it. It didn't actually turn out that way. Um, you'll see why shortly. But So he's going to go for a Gabumon. Finally drew a rookie. Because um, that thing had been uh, sitting in the raising area for quite a while. So, yeah, so let's see what he does. Um, yeah, he honestly, like, needs to get rid of Seraphimon somehow. Uh, that thing is not something you just want to leave on the field. Okay, so he's going to attack my security. Uh, Unimon's going to get destroyed. And um, he could attack with Beelzemon, but he runs a risk where, like, I could just attack with Kentorismon and, like, suicide and then, like, take his uh, Millennium on by 11,000 again. Um, however, he did drop another Millennium on, uh, which is crazy, right? He only, like, he literally played Nipmon, 
got straight to Omega and then just dropped another Millennium on. So unfortunately for me, Kentorsmon's effect doesn't actually trigger because it needs to be destroyed in order to get that minus 11,000. Um, but since it was sent back to the bottom of the deck, I'm kind of just like left at a loss, right? I just like waste all those resources. Um, so I'm going to draw... I've gone through all my eggs, so this is my last egg. I got three memory to work with, you're facing down two Millennium Mons, but at this point, I like... Uh, this is another reason because I'm not playing like any option cards in this deck. I'm literally just playing like all monsters uh, for consistency and then just like the four TKs um, just to like get through, uh, go through your memory, sorry, not your memory, your security and just like add cards from there. Um, but I just want to go for game. So what I'll probably end up doing is like attacking with Seraphimon and just seeing what I get and then setting up to win the next turn. See, I'm going to declare an attack, and unfortunate, unfortunate, unlucky, um, I run into a Piedmon. So, um, I would have checked two security cards, but since Seraphimon dies from the first one, right, because they had equal DP, I don't get to check the second. So, my opponent's off with two security, um, and two Millennium on the field, and meanwhile, I got a couple of rookies. So, because I did have the three memory, I actually opt to drop a Magnet Angemon here. Because looking at my hand, right, I don't really have a lot of other options. I could either, like, I literally need to drop either a Petermon or a Magna Angemon. I don't want to go past, like, a 7 cost. I'm not going to drop Shakuamon straight from my hand. Um, especially because he doesn't do anything, just, like, played on the field. Because I need to get up to Seraphimon somehow. All right, okay, so I got 4 security, uh, which is good. I'm actually ahead in terms of security because, like, I've just recovered so much. I've I've used Seraphimon's effect. I just used Magna Angemon's effect. And he's going to get three Digimon on the field, um, which is fine. Fine for now. Um, like, the, the good thing, at least, about Millennium, like, is that he doesn't have security attack plus one. That's why, like, Omnimon is so good, because he can not only get rid of one of your Digimon, but he can also, um, like, you can unrest him by, like, taking off one of the materials. So, I believe he's just going to attack with the Millennium. No reason not to. Um, he is in kind of the commanding position, because he could get rid of three of my security cards, right? I don't have any blockers. And then he's just guaranteed to win the next turn. But yeah, so he's going to end up attacking with his two Millennium on. Um, I don't have anything. There there goes a bunch of my champions, right? I wish I had those in hand. Um, he's not going to attack with Gabumon. Um, which is like, okay. I, honestly, I would have just attacked. Uh, he's going to play, like, he's going to play an Impmon too. Like, he has four memory. He could have just attacked and then he'd still have a rookie. There's no reason not to. Um, he's going he's gonna to play an Impmon, maybe setting up for another Beelzemon if he had it. Um, but yeah, he can't he can't win this turn, which is good for me. Like, And also, unless he gets another blocker, I can just take him out next turn. He's only got two security, and it doesn't matter how strong his Millennium Mon are. Um, I can just attack with my two on field, and then next turn I'm going to get Patamon too. And since it wasn't played, right, it's from the raising area, I can attack with that as well. Um, so he's going to, yeah, he's going to play that Impmon and another Matt. Um, and it's kind of ironic what he, what he gets uh, from his grave. Um, he, he didn't have any blockers, which is why, like, I was like, dude, you need to put down a blocker. Otherwise I'm going to win. Um, but he actually got a blocker from his hand or like added one to his hand from his uh, grave. He added a Vilemon. Um, so... So he's going to add that Vilemon, um, unfortunate for him, he left me with three memory. It didn't really matter, actually, it didn't matter how much memory he left me with, I still would have won. So I'm going to go ahead and move that Patamon uh, to the field, and then I was just counting his security, and then just looking at his field, make sure there's no funny business going on, no, like, memory manipulation, or, like, any other effects I should be aware of. Um, so just to add insult to injury, I guess, <laughs> I'm going to drop a Seraphimon here. Um, cause I, I have the memory, so why not? And then just, you know, in case, in case he like has a heat viper or something, right? Like he could have something crazy in his security. So I just want to make sure. So I'm going to attack with that security attack plus one, uh, going to reveal just the where guru Mon, and then going to, um, he forgot for a second that Seraphimon did have security attack plus one. Um, and then I'm going to run into a metal guru Mon, not going to matter. Right. And then I'm just going to attack for game. And yeah, that's going to be the game. Uh, quite a long one. So I was originally going to 
upload like a match um if you guys don't mind the length of the videos i might just stick to that um but yeah so that's gonna be the match thought it was a pretty interesting one um but yeah hope you guys enjoyed uh let me know what you will think uh what you guys thought and uh yeah look forward to more digimon content thanks for watching